All right, time to bounce around some more topics. We call it face off. The wave performed after the first quarter at Hawkeye football games has turned into one of the best traditions in college football. But now the University of Iowa is looking for a new song. Not sure why. Seems a little strange, especially since the original artist Pat Green performed the song at Kinnick Stadium. Yeah, I had never heard wave on wave, but now when I hear it, I I think wave. It's it's unusual to change something that's working so well, but the university says it wants the fans to pick the new song. So choose wisely, I guess. The Big Ten basketball tournament will have a new destination in the rotation, Minneapolis. Good choice. That will work well. Better fit than Chicago. The women will play up north in 2023, so after next season, and the men in 24 as well, men and women in 2024. Yeah, I know they've held some Final Fours in the Twin Cities. I'm biased towards Indianapolis. Indy has a great venue. It's easy to get around. Good entertainment scene. I'm sure Minneapolis will be fine, but I'd stick with Indy full time. Uh, you love Indianapolis. I do. You and I, Panther AJ Green, is in the transfer portal. This would be surprising, except nothing surprises me anymore with college yeah. basketball. It's a huge loss for Northern Iowa. Obviously, he's a Power 5 talent, and his dad is an assistant coach at Iowa State, so maybe the Cyclones? Yeah, he, he declared for the NBA draft and entered the transfer portal <laughs> at the same time. That might be a first. I'll be surprised if A.J. Green doesn't end up at Iowa State, but many schools will want him. A.J. can probably cash in if he wants. There's money out there for a guy like him, and it's all changing so fast. Bill Fenley and the Iowa State women pick up a big and tall commitment this week from 6'6 forward Stephanie Soares, graduate transfer, two-time NAIA Player of the Year, and she was a five-star recruit out of high school. If there was ever a year for one of our women's basketball teams to make a run to the Final Four, it's next year. The Cyclone women will be a top 10 team to start the season, and Soros will add some major depth inside 6-6. Six, six. Yep. WHO TV will once again be showing five high school football games in prime time this upcoming season. Schedule released this week and includes two 4A games and three 5A games. That's a solid mix. Yeah, glad to have this back. Games in... Five different towns, John, and at five different schools. Uh, Winterset, Waukee Northwest, Indianola, Southeast Polk, and Dowling Catholic will all host. So looking forward to it. You and Justin Cerncy. Yeah.